Hey, thank you for joining me today for reading. We are going to continue our usual Echo Reads today. We are on another reader. We've read through our others. So we are going to Reader F today, which is your purple reader. So please take that out and turn your books to page one. We're going to read that first story today. Now, our first story is called Tiger Blaze. We're going to read chapter one in the trash, okay? So remember, sit up nice and straight, and I want you to pause when you see punctuation, and if a character is speaking, change up your voice so that I can tell that someone else is talking, okay? Now, the story we're gonna read today called Tiger Blaze is about a boy named Tim who rec uh, rescues Tiger Blaze, we'll see who Tiger Blaze is in a minute, from the trash three times before his family realizes that this worn out stuffed animal may not seem like a lot to them, but it really holds a special memory for Tim. So let's take a look. Page one, Tiger Blaze. Remember to pause the video whenever I tell you to and echo read it back to me. Tiger Blaze, in the trash. Sarah went to clean her brother's room. She put Tim's book on the shelf by his bed. She put his shoes under the bed, and she put his trash into a big black bag. Pause. What is this? She asked. She picked up a ragged stuffed tiger. She held it up. The seams had ripped, spilling bits of stuffing. One of the black button eyes was missing. Ugh, said Sarah. Looks like a pirate without a ship. She dropped the stuffed tiger into the big black bag and went on to the next room. Wonder how Tim's gonna feel about that. Pause and Echo read back to me. Tim came home at lunchtime. He dropped his bat on the floor. Who put Tiger Blaze in the trash? He asked. Sarah looked at the tiger dangling from Tim's hand. I did, she said. Mom asked me to clean the bedrooms. You don't want that thing, do you? Yes, I do, said Tim, but it's torn and dirty. It's missing one eye. It came off and I traded it to Alex for six bottle caps, Tim said. Every time I look at Tiger Blaze, I think of Alex. Pause. Sarah shrugged and went back to work. Take your bat with you, she said. Tim went to the sink to get a drink. He put Tiger Blaze beside the sink. He picked up his bat, but he forgot Tiger Blaze. Pause. Mom came in to begin lunch. I haven't seen this for ages, she said as she picked up the tiger. I thought I gave it to Sue next door. She dropped the tiger into the trash can. The family ate lunch. Mom and Sarah did the dishes. Mom asked Tim to take out the trash. Pause. Tim came back with the tiger. It dangled from the string around its neck. I asked you not to dump tiger blaze in the trash, Sarah. I didn't, Sarah said quickly. Pops. I did, said Mom. I didn't think you still wanted Tiger Blaze. There's a dirty string tied around its neck. It's a leash. Reggie tried it on him at the playground one day, Tim said. Every time I see the string, I think of the good times Reggie and I had at the playground. Pops. I can see that Tiger Blaze means a lot to you, Mom said. I won't toss him in the trash again. The trash! Tim ran outside. He heard a rumble down the street. The trash men were coming. He dropped Tiger Blaze on the picnic table and took the trash can to the street. Pause. 
The trash men waved at him. Tim waved back. Then Marta rode past on her bike. Race you, she called. Wait until I get my bike, Tim yelled back. In a flash, he was gone. Pause the video and echo back, and then I want you to work on your work text. When we come back again tomorrow, we're going to see what might happen since Tim left Tiger Blaze just sitting there, okay? So he hasn't learned to go put him up yet. I'll meet you back here later.